so you're worried about dying in a nuclear war. Given recent world events, it's a perfectly reasonable concern. Nuclear explosions can cause significant damage and casualties from blast, heat, and radiation, but you can keep your family safe by knowing what to do and being prepared if it occurs. A nuclear blast known as nuclear detonation, produced by explosion of a nuclear bomb. When a nuclear device is exploded, a large fireball is created. Everything inside of this fireball vaporizes, including soil and water, and is carried upwards. This creates the mushroom cloud that we associate with a nuclear blast, detonation, or explosion. Radioactive material from the nuclear device mixes with the vaporized material in the mushroom cloud. As this vaporized, radioactive material cools, it becomes condensed and forms particles, such as dust. The condensed radioactive material then falls back to the Earth. This is what is known as fog. In a nuclear blast, injury or death may occur as a result of the blast itself or as a result of debris thrown from the blast. Those who look directly at the blast could experience eye damage ranging from temporary blindness to severe burns on the retina. Other body effects range from mild, such as skin reddening, to severe effects such as cancer and death. So how can you protect your family and yourself during a nuclear blast? A nuclear blast comes in six stages. There's a flash of light, a fireball, a wave of heat, a blast of air, a release of nuclear radiation, and finally the radioactive fog. This all happens very quickly, within just a few seconds, but modern early warning systems will likely give you some time to react. Whether the nuke is detonated in the air or on the ground, the initial threat is the fire of the blast, which can reach tens of millions of degrees. If you're within that, you're dead. You can only survive from the fire if you're in a very solid basement or bunker. After the fire, the heat wave or air blast comes in action. If detonated in the air, the blast would destroy most buildings but the effect is reduced by 23% if the detonation occurs on the ground. The shock wave weakens from there, but can still take out residential buildings and cause mass casualties two to two and a half times the initial spread of the shock wave. If you're near an explosion, the best way to protect yourself from the heat is to hide yourself in a bunker or a sturdy building, but due to less time it is very difficult to do this. So in this situation, turn away in close and cover your eyes to prevent damage to your sight. Then drop to the ground, face down and place your hands under your body. It is important that you should remain flat until the heat and two shock waves have passed. After that, remove any dust from your clothes by brushing, shaking and wiping in a ventilated area. However, cover your mouth and nose while you do this. Now move to a shelter, basement, or other underground area, preferably located away from the direction that the wind is blowing. Before entering in public shelter, it is important, if possible, take a shower, wash your hair, and change clothes before you end the shelter. Fog is most dangerous in the first few hours after the detonation when it is giving off the highest levels of radiation. It takes time for fog to arrive back to ground level, often more than 15 minutes for areas outside of the immediate blast damage zones. This is enough time for you to be able to prevent significant radiation exposure. So the first step you have to take is get inside the nearest building to avoid radiation. Brick or concrete made buildings are best. Remove contaminated clothing and wipe off or wash unprotected skin if you were outside after the fallout arrived. Hand sanitizer does not protect against fallout. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth if possible. Do not use disinfectant wipes on your skin. It would be more helpful if you go to the basement or middle of the building. Stay away from the outer walls and roof. Try to maintain a distance of at least six feet 
between yourself and people who are not part of your household. If possible, wear a mask if you're sheltering with other people. Children under two years old, people who have trouble breathing, and those who are unable to remove masks on their own should not wear them. Stay inside for 24 hours at least, unless local authorities provide other instructions. Continue to practice social distancing between yourself and other people. Families should stay where they are inside. Reunite later to avoid exposure to dangerous radiation, and also keep your pets inside. You have to be careful that only packet food is safe during this situation. Also, with staying inside, it is also important that you should be stay tuned with latest government updates. Tune into any media available for official information, such as when it is safe to exit and where you should go. Battery-operated and hand-crank radios will function after a nuclear detonation. So, these are the steps you can follow to protect you and your family during nuclear blast. If you found this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe our channel. May science bless you.